Day two in Panama finds us heading across the crocodile-laden Chagres River to an Embera village where Panama's indigenous people live in large, thatched huts, eating only the fish they catch from the river and produce they farm or find. As our boat meets the pier and we're greeted by the locals, it feels like we're stepping on a lost continent. Embera children are often naked until they reach puberty, except when they leave the village to attend public schools, quietly making the trip across the river by canoe. The jungle teems with life, a hum of activity from birds and animals hidden by the plants that call Panama home. Armies of leafcutter ants, able to carry 5,000 times their body weight, charge single file across fences, trees, and the jungle floor, completely ignoring us. I think there's a Dave Matthews song about this. The villagers use natural means to ward off critters. Curious howler monkeys watch us from above, and I wonder if they know what my husband found for breakfast. After a walk through the jungle, it's time for lunch. First, we have to wash our hands in the sink. Plantain and tilapia. Lunch is followed by a show of the villagers' traditional dances. And they don't take no for an answer when it comes to joining in, even if you do get a little confused. <laughs> what happens next on our Panama adventure? Find out tomorrow at welltraveltexan.com.